Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you a Belgian 50 centimes coin from 1967. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. This is a bronze coin. It weighs 2.75 grams, 19 millimeters in diameter, 1.21 millimeters thick with a smooth edge. This is a rather tiny coin. Uh, on the obverse, we see a crowned face value, 50 centimes, which splits the year of mintage, 1967. And up above, the country name, Belgie, but uh, Belgium in Dutch. A uh, little quirk about Belgian coins, incidentally, they uh, make coins that are Dutch and also coins that are in French. This is a different year, but uh, you see uh, the two languages represented on this coin. But back to the 67 for a moment. If we turn this over to the other side, we see a miner adapted from the work of Constantin Meunier facing to the left. There's also a mining lamp just behind the portrait. And the designer's name is Rao underneath the lamp, as in Marcel Rao, who engraved both sides of this coin, as a matter of fact. Uh, these coins were produced from 1952 all the way up to 2001 when the uh, Belgian franc was discontinued in favor of the euro at a rate of 40 francs to 1 euro. Now, 1967 uh, has a relatively common mintage. Now, back to that quirk about Belgian and French texts, incidentally. Uh, the mintages are also slightly different. So for 1967, the Dutch text, which is the one you see right here, uh, that has a mintage of 6.97 million. The French text, on the other hand, for 1967, has a mintage of 7.2 million. So very similar, but ever so slightly different. The values are just about the same as well. Uh, in average circulated condition, you could probably expect a dime to about a quarter. In higher mint state grades, the best you can hope for is about $1.50, according to NGC's price guides. Um, but it's a relatively inexpensive way to get into world coin collecting if you happen to get your hands on one of these. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin. And I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.